Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about uh, org tree flight mode, and I'm going to talk about this because uh, I have been using it for uh, for quite a while now. And by the way, I did cover this in uh, one of my video where I explained how to use org tree flight mode, and I will explain the the purpose and. Uh, the benefits of using this uh, org tree flight mode now using org mode you can uh, create presentations there are some packages that you can install and you can actually generate and create wonderful beautiful looking presentations and uh, it is all good but most of the times i would say 99% of the times if i am trying to explain something to someone and I'm trying to show my uh, notes, for example, I do that within this uh, org file. For example, right now, if I'm looking at this, uh, this document, which is nothing but a normal document with different uh, headings and the subheadings, for example, for example, if I'm talking about how to make uh, presentations using org mode, using org tree slide mode. Now, in this document, of course, I'm using this uh, narrowing feature which i absolutely love i mean this is one of my favorite uh, thing in org mode because i can focus on one one particular aspect and uh, and if i'm doing some presentations where i am okay with uh, showing you the whole document i can of course use the folding which i have covered in my previous videos but uh, sometimes you have to present uh, things uh, in a proper presentation mode where you have different slides and using org tree slide mode i uh, have been able to not only present slides that look like a slide but uh, those slides are nothing but org files so you can always uh, modify it for example if i'm showing you a presentation and i want to mo modify something maybe i want to add a couple of my additional notes notes i can do that you can still do those things in narrowing feature like right now it is nothing but a normal document which i can uh, always uh, modify to add more items if i have to but uh, sometimes uh, you want something which is uh, actually like a presentation so let me open this mode and before i start the mode i'll probably just um, widen this and if i go back to my original document now this is my whole document and let us say i have to present it to someone i'm making a presentation on uh, how to use emacs for doing wonderful things so if you start this uh, org tree slide mode you can see now that it is uh, like one slide one one whole uh, header and if i press the arrow key uh, not the arrow key sorry let me just uh, use the f6 it will actually um, go to the next slide and let me just you know do it from the beginning i mean because i think it makes sense if i start again so let us say this is your overview and of course you know i can use the folding feature folding feature works fine if if i have to show you let us say a couple of bullet points not a bullet point i should say headers couple of headers then uh, you know I, I can probably uh i can probably just use the folding feature which works wonderfully well i can narrow it to that particular header and then of course i'll focus on that particular uh, header and all the subheaders and uh, it is great but uh, if uh, if you have to use the folding feature then you also have to use the arrow keys uh, in your uh, keyboard to go up and down at least but within this presentation mode you can actually have your uh, presentation uh, slides you can actually go through your slides using uh, some commands or you can actually bind those things uh, those commands to your uh, sh your your key keyboard uh, shortcut so right now using this uh, the, these couple of lines i have f5 and f6 which are not really used at least on my keyboard um, of course i use f5 when you know, when i have to refresh the page but within uh, within emacs i use f5 and f6 for navigating and within this uh, or tree slide mode you have different profiles to show header or uh, maybe you want to just uh, uh, focus on uh, the subtrees not 
not the complete header. So you, you can do a few things. There are a couple of modes, but I don't really use all the modes. I use the default profile uh, within that particular mode. And uh, when you're in a document, you can actually simply do org tree slide mode. And that is it. You can actually start showing you, sh showing your uh, audience, your, <laughs> your, your, your uh, notes. And these notes can have images by the way, which don't really work on the terminal version of Emacs. If you're using the UI version of Emacs, then when you have those images, those images will also display nicely, which I'm not really uh, interested in, to be honest. I'm fine with uh, the text. So I can show you these slides and uh, this looks really nice. And by the way, again, the main thing is these slides are uh, again, uh, editable. So if I'm talking about Emacs and org mode fundamentals, so while I'm on this particular slide, I can of course, you know, make changes, I can further go inside a specific, um, specific uh, subheader, for example, and uh, let us, so right now we're talking about Emacs and org mode fundamentals. And if I press F6, it will go to the next subheader, and the next one and the next one. So it will actually go to all the levels in your uh, in your document and once you're done you can actually quit you can actually you know you run the same command again and uh, and uh, you will be outside you will be with you, you will be in your normal org mode without any uh, presentation and it is actually very convenient to be honest i have been using it i think let me just check the date so i start i, I first start tried this uh, in december and uh, I have used it in my videos and uh, whenever I'm showing something to someone, I, I use it a, I use it a lot um, along with of course narrowing feature which is, is which is actually very very handy. Uh, but the reason I wanted to make this video again is because uh, I want to promote org tree slide if you want to make presentations, nice presentations, editable presentations within your uh, org file without exporting it to any other HTML document or any other format. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.